You found the perfect mic arm, but an XLR cable is inside of it. How do you set up your USB microphone instead? Welcome, Sosotech here. I have the gorgeous KNM 23860 microphone arm, but it has an internal XLR cable. Other companies have similar models. My microphone, the Rosie Colonna, uses a USB connection. Which microphone do you have and which mic arm are you going to use it with? Let us know in the comments below the video. The cable can be removed, but that probably voids warranty and takes some work and also risks damaging the mic arm. So we will work without removing the cable and with keeping it for a potential upgrade in the future. How to combine the XLR mic arm and the USB microphone? Easy, you need two things. One, planning and two, cable ties, also known as zip ties. Just make sure you get short black zip ties. I use a total of six cable ties, but you can get away with three or four. I started by placing the XLR cable for connecting the microphone along the arm. I used two zip ties for just this one cable. I could have waited until the rest of the cables were in place, but this works. After all, the XLR does wait a little more. What I would recommend to you is to only zip the zip ties slightly, so that another cable can be added later easily. Next, I screwed on the microphone and made sure it was aligned the way I wanted it. So I was speaking into the correct side at an angle parallel to me. I plugged in the USB cable and laid it out along the arm. I used three zip ties, two at the top, one at the bottom. Again, I recommend to not completely zip the ties up. I thought I was done with cable management for now. However, I also plug in my headphones into the microphone to be able to listen to my voice live while recording it. At first, I let the headphone cable just hang in there, but later it became clear that I need to get an extension and also attach it to the mic arm. This was to prevent yanking the microphone arm around and to have a larger range from which I could use the headphones. I was able to squeeze the 3.5mm audio cable extension through the zip ties. It would have been better if I hadn't zipped them up that tight yet, but this worked. In the end, I had three cables on the upper tube of a mic arm and two cables along the lower tube. Final question to solve was what to do with a long XLR cable coming out the bottom of a mic arm for connecting to a mixer. I simply rolled it up and placed it inside the empty space of a table clamp. This setup is working out great for me and at the same time I am prepared should I ever switch to an XLR microphone setup. Watch my video in which I actually take out the XLR cable and also check out the unboxing of this mic arm. Again, write a comment about which arm and mic you're using. See you next video. Ciao!